Hey guys and welcome to Train Sim TV. My name's Tom and today we're going to be taking you for a drive along the North London line merged from Danny Leach. Along with taking a look at the T7 EMU translator um, wagon coaches if you will. Um, these are available from ATS and they've been created by James Ivel and Klaus. Uh, and the scenario we're running is another one off ATS which um, fully incorporates this uh, little mod um, for the class 314315. Um, <clears throat> the scenario itself is 5 Zulu 13 and it's a 1242 cell hers to TRSMD to horn the EMUD. Uh, the scenario is made by Stephen Bell. Um, which it's about a 40 minute run, so we get to have a drive and we can have a nice look at these as well. And we have in tow also uh, the Network Rail 313. So the T7 EMU translators are something that's been available for about 10 or so days currently as of recording this video. It's the first time I've actually had a chance to properly look at these. Um, it was something I wanted to do the other week, but I just hadn't had the time to get the video in. So we've managed to get a bit of uh, spare time to quickly do this, um, get it up uh, for you to watch. Um, links will be provided in the description below. And when we get away from Clapham, because it's a bit laggy at the minute, I can't really take you for a proper look around here. Um, when we get out of the area, we'll have a stop and have a look at what's what and just have a look in general, see how, how nice and what's what and what's been done with it, really. Um, and then we'll just enjoy the room. <clears throat> so... Let's get ourselves sorted, set up and leave from Clapham. That's right, the key and we'll get these windows open as well. You see it's just so laggy, there's a lot of stuff in the uh, station so I'm not going to take for a look around because it'll just fry the um, video. Let's get that on there, power data. Uh, I'll leave on passengers because it's actually a, a coach, if you will, from a passenger train. Um, that could be wrong. If it is wrong, I do apologise. Right, we are good to go. So the T7EMU translator coaches are a pair of 508 driving motor coaches that have been converted for use on stock drags and are com commonly seen used by GBRF on 465 and 466 drag workings to and from the Doncaster and Southeastern depots. For this pack to work properly you do need the class 314 and 315 EMU pack, the four, uh, 456 EMU pack the Class 66 EP and also the EDUS Class 66 V2.0 Loco. a single yellow coming up. I'm just going to coast it down here of course we uh, should have a red signal coming up by the time we get to it. <clears throat> It's nice to have a run down this bit. I don't think I've actually come out of Clapham this way before. Um, so it's a bit of extra track for me. Uh, and I've actually had a quite a bit of extra rare track in a way uh, in such on this route over the past few weeks. Uh, with the APFSA FTA wagon pack as well. That explored some new bits of track I've not done before on the route. 
so extra coverage is all good. Get to see some of the lesser used areas of the route. Right, so whilst we're waiting here, I'm going to pause it and we'll take a look at the actual uh, stock itself. Um, before I do, I'll just bring up the manual. There's a little manual for this as well. So, the two translator vehicles are there um, in all the glory on that screenshot. <clears throat> Tells you what's needed, uh, numbering plates and stuff like that. So, number plates and coach specific items are applied automatically depending on the unit number and can be changed by changing the coach number in editor uh, and will affect the stock when editor is edi uh, exited. For reference, the T7 number units are 64664 and 46707. Uh, there's also another little bit that you can put the tail lights on the rear uh, coach uh, by adding the uh, little suffix there. So that's the normal tail lamps. You can also put a flashing tail lamp, I think. By lots of it on that one. Uh, and then just tell you how to install it. Then, of course, uh, the credits are in there also. Get rid of that. Let's just get rid of the HUD. Let's go for a little look. So I'm not going to lie, this is the second time I've had to try re uh, video this because uh, the first time around I noticed that the doors were invisible. I could actually see through this side, but the doors were actually there on that side, so it's quite strange. I've reinstalled the pack and it, it fixed it, so it's all good. So, first of all, you can see down it says T7 set at the top. It's had the gangway taken out by the looks of it. It's got these new lights here. That socket there as well. We've got a lamp holder there also. So I'm assuming the tail lamps will hang on this um, when you put that little suffix in. And it's got all the data code and stuff like that on there as well. It's got a 3D nameplate. Let's check that out. Overall, very nice. There's a little bit of a shadowing issue about lots of it there. There's, you can sort of see underneath the L. Um, if I get to a certain angle, you can see that little black patch there, and on the W as well, there's a bit of a texturing issue underneath there as well. But overall, it's nice. Um, possibly, hopefully, that might be something if if this video gets seen by the creators, they may be able to amend that and update the pack maybe with a fix for that, just so we have all the the right texturing on the uh, letters. Uh, moving on. We've got the uh, all the windows have been covered over, and they've got um, like vents added on. So these are all new, what's well, like child uh, objects that have been covered over the windows and put these on top. So that's quite nice. Um, again, that window there. All the doors have been covered over, so they, you can't see through the windows or anything like that. You've got the uh, the branding on the side there. It's uh, Arlington Fleet Group. All done with decal. I, the I love the logo. It's cool wheel and the springs and all that with the A. There's a slight little bit of um, a gap underneath that window there. But overall it's all fine. I like the front. The front's been heavily modified as well. So if that, you've got all the wiper blades, um, they've been taken off and the destination uh, panels have been covered over. Um, headlamps and tail lights have all been taken off. Uh, if we go on the other side, you've also got... Um, I forgot what they're called. For the jumper sockets. <laughs> Not sure if these pipes are new. Look like they could be new. Windows have been covered over as well. It's quite cool that. I like that. Has a bit of a look about it, like a class one four oh. <laughs> the old the original pacer on the front of half the stuff missing looks quite quite like that. If you will. Interesting. Uh, so that one was called Lewitt, I think was it, 
Lewitt. Lewitt. Uh, so that's the female three we're dragging. And this is the other one. So this is Labazarin. Labazarin. I don't know. God knows. So we've put the. I had to put onto the snow myself because the snow didn't have the tail lamp set up properly. Um, I put the thick little uh, code you put in to make the uh, lights appear back up on the on the back. So I've gone with them ones rather than the tail lamp. Uh, I could be wrong. It could actually be a, t a case that you do need a tail lamp on the back of it. But I put these lights on just to show them off on this. I do like that. It's really cool. So basically, it's the same again on the other other car. All the stuff's been taken off on the front. Name plate will be like on that one. That name plate's alright. There's no uh ooh. A bit of an, uh, an issue there when you go certain angles. You can actually, I'll say that I can actually see there's a little bit of a um, imperfection on the A. Um, you can see like a line going through it. And the only that, and that it disappears at certain angles, but other than that, minor fixes really, if the user wishes to do so. But yeah, I like them. Apart from that, and the little gap in there on the window. But over there, I love that. It's really good, different. It's nice to see it in the game. Anyway, enough of that. Let's go in. Let's have. Let's enjoy the drive. I'm just waiting for the signal to change now. At the end of the day, it's a free, free piece of uh, DLC. At the end of the day, it modifies your uh, payware product. So, I'm not gonna get too anal about it. They're nice to look at. They, they do look really cool. Uh, waiting for something to go past. There it is. 378 coming. Get ourselves back in cab. So we're 11 miles away from Camden Road, platform 2. Not sure how many times we get looped or not on this one. I'm assuming we'll be slotting in between uh, service traffic. Going to four. I'm not going to speed up. We're going to go down to a twenty in a second. Over the Thames. I still haven't looked at the map of what's been done with this room. I think what the difference is, I think it has the OHLE, the future overhead wiring, which would have been done on the Goblin line on this. I don't know what else has been done overall. 
I don't think we'll see any of that. To be honest. We might do, I don't know. Current last speed is 50 miles per hour. approaching West Brompton. Part of the district line comes in. One thing I am looking forward to is Joe Burgess's um, North London Line revamped. If you've not seen any of that, do head over to the Fulcrum Productions page. Um, I think also Joe the Fish's Workshop, I think is um, called on Facebook. You can catch a load of it in his uh, updates on there also. It's looking really, really good. Properly transformed the original. Got all new OHOE uh, working and, and everything. So good. I mean, this route already is really good. It's one of my favourite London routes. It'd be nice to see that when it comes out. I did have an early version ages back, but I lost that in a, a TS install. But from what I saw months and months ago, it was absolutely stunning. Sixty miles per hour now for a short um, mile and a half. So I'm going to drop down to 30 and then uh, gradually to 20 also, so we're going to start, we're just going to let it coast for a little while and then we'll start adding the brakes on.
It's only six and a half miles almost now to Camden Road. It's only quite a short run really. Has the sun on. Should make a decent thumbnail that as well. Get it right. Police are in force there. Virtual police, that is. So we did have a single yellow on that feather. Might get the road in a minute because I can just see the three seven eight just crossing over ahead of us. This is something coming in from the other way. Oh no, it's gone green. That's good. Good timing. down to 15 at the junction. <sighs> We're just coming up to Wilsdon Junction. yellows at the moment.
<clears throat> what else are we going to? It's there. Not too far. We do have a st uh, stopping service, I think, uh, ahead of us as well. We're back on the greens, though, for now. on the doubles again though. To green, so we're sort of chasing the others at the minute. I do expect to be stopping at some point, maybe down towards the end. If anyone expects, um, well, I expect anyone wants to drive this scenario, um, I will pop the link in the uh, description. Just have a look down below. Same with the T7 and the EMU translator coaches as well, those are in the description. We are running the AP Classic 6 Enhancement Pack, and the link for that will also be in our description, if you wish to have a look at that. I mean, if uh, T7 EMU translates are your thing, and uh, you want to replicate work, is that I do recommend getting them. Nice little addition to the collection. And at free of cost, it's always a, it's always a bonus as well. Of course, you do need the payware to run it, but other than that, it's a winner. We are coming to a stop as well. Nope, oh, we're back on Yellow's happy days. You're just cross underneath the Chilton main line and the Metropolitan line as well on this bridge. <clears throat> Could just stop and just see the um, passengers that are just ahead of us. Oh, well, we've just left the station, so we should get a, uh, a yellow in a minute. There we go. Thank <laughs> you. 
<clears throat> I'm just crossing over the middle of main line now. Another thing what we're aiming to do is, of course, with the coronavirus um, pandemic that's going on at the moment uh, in the world, we are aiming to hopefully bring you extra videos to the channel just to keep you guys entertained um, whilst you're at home. Um, so do keep an eye out on our channel. Um, we do also hope that everyone stays safe and um, just does as the office, of course, the government asks and all that. So just do, do keep uh, yourself safe and that we do hope to uh, bring you more videos. Just under two and a half miles away now to our destination.
Not too far to go now, we're just up here, just outside Gospel Oak. I'm coming down here to Camden Town. This service will then eventually will continue then down this way onto the East Coast Main Line here. So that is uh, the extension onward down there where it has the orange wiring. mega speed in here <clears throat> so we're just a mile outside now um, just under a mile from Camden Town. Just waiting for the service to clear the platform and then we will continue onwards.
So we're just on our final curve into the station now. Just wait for this service to clear and we will head in. Waiting for two L four five to clear. As you can see as well, that was all the stock that was in at Clapham Junction as well, on top of everything else that was moving also. It was quite a lot. It's not broken down. <laughs> Let's see what's going on. Door's still open. There we go. So my signal's clear now. So we do hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget, all the links are provided in the description below. Just scroll down, you'll find all in there uh, related to this video, everything we've driven and shown. Um, don't forget, like, share, subscribe. Leave some feedback if there's anything you wish us to do uh, down the line. We'd like to hear back from you. Um, see what we can do for you. Um, and as well, don't forget you can catch us on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash trainsimtv underscore Tom and trainsimtv underscore Mark. My channel is the one that's most regularly live. Um, we're usually on, on Wednesdays and Fridays uh, between half seven and eight o'clock into the evening with occasional extra streams over the weekend. Um, hence, like this week, I'm just gone. Uh, we did Saturday and Sunday as well. Um, so you, you can expect to see extras as well. Massive thanks again for joining us on this one, guys. I'm just going to let this train come to a stop. We got a screenshot actually there as well. It was quite nice in the uh, light in there. Again, thank you ever so much for joining us on this one. We do hope you've enjoyed it. Take care, and we will definitely see you hopefully on that next one very soon. Take care for now, guys.